Bye bye. Bye bye. Polar. Oh! <laughs>
she is in her she is in her bag and y'all know me the type of dude that i am and the type of music i listen to i like to listen to things that i can relate to and i relate to a lot of this shit on her album and i'm and i'm not necessarily a person that really relates to brandy like that of course you know me and jamar had this conversation on our show you know he's more i'm more of a monica stan he's more of a brandy stan of course i can see him being a brandy stan because of his personality alone and y'all know why y'all can see me being a monica stan so we ain't even got to get into this shit but I appreciate the fact that I can relate to this. Like, I'm dealing with, like, I'm healing from a relationship. And you can tell that Brandy herself is healing from a relationship. But in regards to this song, I like it lyrically, I like it vocally, and I like it sonically. Like, I like this song, and um, it's probably one of my favorites, too. I have a lot of favorites on this. There's not really too many songs on here that I don't like. But I would give this one um an A as well. I like Lucid Dreams, baby. I like it. On repeat. Borderline. Number one, I don't even have to go. I give that an A off the rip, okay? At this point uh, at this point of me recording this video, I have not seen the music video to the song yet. So I see it after I'm done with this video. However, I love this song. And lyrically, I understand it. This, is this bitch in my mind or something like that? Like, I've been dealing with a breakup since November. And I feel like this bitch has been taking her time on this album to, to say the shit that I want that I've been dying to say. Like she got, girl, bro. listen, I like this shit, I love that fucking song, like, I love it, 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 like I said, she's in her bag, and I love it, no tomorrow, it's like one of those little songs that she's saying that she's gonna love a person like there's no tomorrow, she's just talking about the way a man makes her feel or whatever, and again, it's her vocal performance that really keeps this keeps it going like it has great production but it's really her vocal performance and the things that she does vocally with the song that keeps it going like i love it like it's so i it just got me in my feelings and i'm the type of nigga don't, that don't really be having no feelings like that but she got me all in my shit right now and i could tell you that that song is i give it an a plus damn this whole album probably gonna have a child like pretty much but i really enjoy this i enjoyed this song okay say something first of all i give it an a um second of all that should be another single like, I can hear them playing this on the radio, and I already know with Brandy being her age now, it's really limited as to who's going to hear the fucking record. You know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 it's bad that right now Monica and Brandy are not going to be regulated to Urban AC Radio. You know what I mean? When a song like that should be played on Urban Radio. Because it, it has this little radio-type feel to it. I can hear it being played on the radio. Like... It's a radio type of song, but it still got substance to it. You know what I'm saying? And I can see a video for this shit. I can hear it on the radio, and I think it will be a great Urban AC record. But I do think that it could be um, regarded for Urban Radio as well. But like I said, I, I just feel like at this point, Brandy is going to be regulated to Urban AC. Because I know Baby Mama was played on Urban AC Radio. And I don't think that at all that that, that 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 was a fucking Urban AC song at all. I can see that just being played on Urban. Like... But, you know, when a bitch turn 40, they want to throw your ass over there to, to, to the old people lane. And I just think that that's really unfortunate because that's a limited amount of, of listeners that, that's going to hear the song. But with the internet and everything that is very prevalent right now, it just might get what it needs. But I love Say Something and again, that's an A. We ain't talking about all my life. We ain't, mm -mm, Part 2, I don't give a damn. We ain't talking about it, baby. I love you. More than a friend. I am more. Now, this song is basically her saying that um, she loves this guy way more than a friend. I think he got a girlfriend already, but she doesn't, but she feels like she's more than just a friend, more than just somebody's side piece. She's everything and more. So, I give that song an A. Definitely one of my favorite songs. And brand new came into the mix. You know what I mean? Like, she came through, through, okay? And I know a lot of people be cringing at the thought of brand new. But I like her on some on some levels, and I liked her on this song. So Brand New made another appearance, okay, to be quite honest, okay? So I enjoy Brand New on this song, and I enjoy this song pretty much. Um, it just, it's like a um, more alternative version pretty much of Seven's um, Before I Do, only because of the subject matter, not, not the music, but the subject matter. That's, you know, but, and plus, I love Seven's Before I Do. That's probably one of my favorite songs as well. Especially of um, the 2010s. This, but this ain't about 7. This is about Brandy. So keep moving.
High Heels. Okay, now High Heels features herself and her daughter Sarai. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, because I was getting your voices mixed up, mixed up, I think that Sarai um, opens the song pretty much, like she opens it. And I think that she's like a young Brandy. Her voice is just a little bit high because of her age, but you know, you can tell that she's Brandy's daughter, and you can tell that Brandy has been coaching her ass the fuck down. Okay, she's been coaching her the fuck down. She's been tell teaching her the ropes, showing her how to harmonize, showing her how to use that register, like. It was it was pretty decent. You know what I mean? It's not my favorite song, honestly, it's not. But it was pretty decent. I give it like a B. But um that's that's all I can give with that. Like it's it's a knock or whatever, but you know, um I could have did without it, honestly. It's not a bad song, but it's not a song that I'm gonna revisit like that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you got songs on albums that's you know, decent decent songs, but you're not going to revisit it like that. It's kind of like Table for One by Kate Michelle on her recent album. You know what I mean? Like, it's a it's a pretty song, but I'm not going to listen to it like that. That's that's what High Heel is. Baby Mom. The horns. Um, Chance the Rapper's Verse. Uh, um, the beat. Brandy. I love that song. Y'all know I reviewed it on my last on repeat um segment. I reviewed it. And I loved it. Um, I know a lot of her fans. Some of her fans that I know personally didn't like the song. But I enjoyed it. I know that I didn't. I don't know what it is about that song. I, I, it's kind of like I got a newfound love for it again on with listening to the album. Because I know that when the single first came out, like I had that song on repeat all day the day that the song came out. But I never listened to it again after that. But now that I got the album, it's kind of like this. Like it flows well with the album and it's, it's giving me a newfound a renewed interest in the song because like I said when I made my review that was probably the last time I listened to the song I enjoyed it I was bigging it up but it's like I don't know why it, I didn't go back and replay it like that but I probably will now that the album is out but um I'm gonna give it a B I like that song though I still like it a lot. and I'm gonna give it a B because amongst it is it, amongst the rest of these fucking songs baby let's move on Fuck. Oh, my life part three. Okay, so you know, Love Again is basically her duet with Daniel Caesar. A, off the rip. And you know, it gave her a Grammy nomination and all of this other stuff. Another Grammy nomination after all these years and whatnot. It's a pretty, it's a, it's a dope song. It sounds like a song that she did on her own. So, I'm not really familiar with Daniel Caesar's music like that. I, 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 I don't be trying to give these new, these new girls, these new dudes a chance like that. Because I don't be liking none of that shit. But I might need to um, get more so into it. But um, I give it an A off the real. Bye, bye fucking Polar. Bitch. Brandy sung that song straight from her pussy. She sung that song straight from her pussy. And she emoted that song straight from her pussy. And not to mention... She drugged the shit out of Ryan. She really did. She cussed his ass the fuck out. She called him out for everything that he needed to be called out for. And when I tell you she was going in and I... Listen, I'm going to play this song. I'm going to add that to my um, to my uh, Tender Love and Care um, playlist. Because, you know, that's my healing playlist. So I'm going to add that to it. Because that's what tomorrow is. And now that I think about it, this is this, is, this album's tomorrow. That's what I that's what I see it as. And I love it. Like I love it. It's probably one of my favorite Brandy songs because y'all know I like me a little bit of cussing. Y'all know that right. But I love this song. This was the best way to close it. Probably the best, in my opinion, best vocal performance on this whole album. Best song sonically on this whole album. A a a motherfucking A. That's what the fuck this song gets. Overall, B7 is a great body of work. Um, it's like that, um, it's like alternative R&B and I feel like Brandy is the trailblazer for alternative R&B and she's the only one who knows how to do it correctly. These other girls that's doing alternative R&B, I just can't get into them. Like, you know, SZA. I don't like SZA's worth for damn. I don't see what everybody likes her for. I, I never got into her. I can't get into her. I don't know why. Like, I do like Love Galore, but that's it. I don't like nothing else from her. Maybe I need to give her another chance. I don't know. But all these other girls that's doing alternative R&B, I feel like Brandy opened the doors for those girls to do that type of shit and she knows how to do it because she actually has a voice but all in all i give this album like an a um despite the fact that high heels and baby mama got b's and uh or whatnot i still give it an a because it's a great body of work it's outstanding um is um i know a lot of brandy fans uh will enjoy this type of shit um not to mention um it's a great album it comes 
you know, after you've been gone for eight years, you know, you got to come with it. And it feels very much so different from 211. And in my honest opinion, I feel like 211 was an album that she was trying to use as a comeback album. And it was full of radio records. And I think it took away from the essence of what Brandy really, really was. This album takes you back to the essence of what Brandy really is. With that being said, y'all, that's my... On repeat, Brandy B7, and I'm out of here until my next video. I will talk to y'all later. I done done four videos today. Four videos today. I need to go and get ready for work. Well, need to go to sleep so I can go to work in the morning. With that being said, y'all, I'm out of here. Peace out.